Actually, I should count to 10 first to make sure I'm live. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Am I live? I think I'm live. Okay, so, um, uh, I'm doing a vegan grocery haul. Now, I got four things, four things that are not vegan, but everything else should be vegan. Okay, so, I got... This is not vegan. This is my dinner tonight, and I'm going to be filling a mukbang with it. But this is um, sushi. I felt like sushi for dinner. And then to go with it, which I'll be doing a mukbang with the sushi, I also have kimchi. This is also not vegan. Um, but I ate all that kimchi I got yesterday. I ate it all. It's delicious. I, I love kimchi. Okay. Different brand though, so this will be good. I also got uh, grapes. Grapes are a good price, and I ate up all the grapes that were in my fridge. I love grapes, so I got more. Okay, we we have a whole bunch of food everywhere. All right, so. I got this big, huge thing of coconut oil. I needed um, refined coconut oil. And I'm going to be making vegan butter with this. So I found a really res really easy recipe for vegan butter. And it used coconut oil, hemp oil, um, hemp milk, and uh, nutritional yeast. I think that was all. There might be other stuff, but I think that was pretty much it for it. And um, I want to try making the vegan butter. And then I got this flax oil. This was only like $3. Um, and it has tons of omega-3s in it, which is great. So. And... This I'm going to have with my mukbang after this. This is um, day trip hemp infused sparkling water. Uh, where's this made? California. Okay. Um, this is my first time I've ever been ID'd for buying like hemp products in the store. I was really like, what? <laughs> I didn't know that you had to be ID'd for buying hemp products. But I bought a case of hemp milk. And this is a vanilla flavored hemp milk. Um, I typically like the plain flavored hemp milk, but I decided to buy the vanilla because it's way cheaper to buy it at the store than it is for me to buy it online. So, bought that. And let's see, go into this bag now. So, um, last night I did film the... Um, brownies coming out of the oven, but something weird happened and it did not post. So I'm sorry that you didn't got, you guys didn't see the brownies coming out of the oven because we got celery. Ooh, it smells good and fresh. We got some sprouts because I felt like getting sprouts and they look really delicious. I've been feeling like eating sprouts a lot lately. I think I just saw a hawk. Um, but, uh, in your sheet. <laughs> um, uh, but anyway, uh, what was I? Oh, I wanted to sprout some lentils, but oh, I just got a sprouting jar, so I can sprout lentils tonight, actually. I've been meaning to sprout lentils. And then I got these um, spicy mix of microgreens, and I got this uh, pea shoots that I can use for yummy things. Might be making some more Asian food lately. I've been really craving Asian food. Um, hello, how are you doing, Julie? Okay, I got two of these brownie mixes. These, of course, are not vegan, but I I make brownies a lot, like um, edibles. So I just get the brownie mixes because they're easier. Um, maybe I can find like a vegan brownie mix or something that. I can use instead of this, but this is just easy because it's only like two bucks at the store. Then I got bananas. I 
And then I want to try and get all the frozen stuff and refrigerated stuff into the kitchen. We got uh, sweet and sour porkless bites. So that sounds really good. I was going to have it with dinner tonight and just have like a big, huge Asian mukbang, but I don't think that's a good idea. I think the kimchi, the um, uh, sushi is enough for me to have. Um, I will save this for later. I don't need to be binging. And I can always save it for later. Okay. So I got two of these chicken nuggets because I ate all my chicken nuggets already. They're so good. They're really good chicken nuggets. And they're only, uh, I think it's only $6 for two. No, it's $5 for two of them maybe. Yeah, it's $5 for two of these, I think. So, and there's, there's 15 nuggets in here. So like typically I would want 10 nuggets um you know that would be satisfying to me so since i have two bags that would be like three meals okay i got these these i've had before i really like them they're um miyoku's creamery um cheddar sticks so those are vegan Okay, I got more egg roll wrappers because, I don't know, I'm loving egg rolls lately. I, they're just so easy to make. Then I got this um, mozzarella cashew cheese by Miyoko's Creamery. I think I'll make a pizza with this. Okay, let's get the cold stuff back in the bag so I can easily take it to the kitchen. Okay, and then we have the last bag of food here. This has fun stuff in it. Okay, I might want to try, try some of this on camera for you. My mom had them and she said they're really good. They're parsnip chips. It's by Hard Bite Handcrafted Style Parsnip Chips. Product of Canada. Okay, let's try one of these. I'm not going to eat the whole thing. I'm just going to try one. Ooh, this smells really good. What does it look like? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Those are delicious. Very sweet. All right. Yeah, it tastes sweet. It's like a sweet. Kind of tastes like sweet potato. Like I would think it was sweet potato. If I didn't know better. Okay. And then we have this um, is Parmella Creamery. And this is an aged nut cheese. It's supposed to taste like sharp cheddar. I was thinking I was going to try making mac and cheese with this. <laughs> I haven't had mac and cheese for a while. And I've, I haven't had vegan or vegetarian mac and cheese for a while. I used to make this... Uh, uh, vegan mac and cheese all the time. And then we have, because I was vegetarian before. I was vegetarian. I've been vegetarian most of my life. Um, I see. I started being vegetarian when I think I was... probably about 22 years old and then I was vegetarian again when I was 23 years no 20 I stopped being vegetarian for a while like a year and then I was vegetarian again for like several years and I'm trying to be more vegan now but um, anyways, we got these Morningstar Chipotle uh, black bean shreds. Um, I want to make nachos really bad, and I'll probably use these for the nacho. Okay. And then we got some 
lactose free green valley green valley creamery wait is this vegan oh no this is dairy cheese i didn't i thought this was vegan i didn't read it all the way i thought this was vegan it was like in the vegan cheese section oops so i got five things that were not vegan but anyways it's a lactose free um um cream cheese I don't know if it has a flavor to it. <laughs> yeah, this is just regular cream cheese. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I'll use it on my bagels, I guess, since I got bagels. Here's the other chicken nuggets I got. I'm not a strict vegan right now. I'm in the process of becoming vegan. Okay, I got some more cow cow nibs. Um, and this is a bigger bag than the bag I got last time. It was the exact same price as the bag I got last time, but it's a bigger bag. Um, I really like cow cow. It's good. Look. We got two giant lemons. Yes. And I got this, it's like chorizo flavored sausage. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Hmm. But it sounds good. I don't know what I'm going to do with it though. I got this, um, ooh, this would go good with the chorizo sausage. This is um, Sundra, and that was vegan, by the way. This is a vegan brand, Light Life. And then this is uh, Sundra tomato garlic vegan cheese. And I think I might think of something to do with the sausage and the cheese, because that sounds really good. Like make a pasta with it. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Okay, um, I have a soda streamer, so I can turn like these things into soda. And I got this one, it's got vitamin B3, B6, and B12 in it, and it's apple flavored. And then I got this one, I love this flavor. And this is like a jumbo one too. So um, this one is um, strawberry pineapple smash. I already have one of these, but it's running low, so. Oh, I forgot. Uh, I got this last minute because it was at the register and the lady asked me if I wanted it. I've always wanted to try honeycomb. So this will be dessert for a mukbang because I've always wanted to try honeycomb. I've never tried honeycomb. Okay, then I got this one. This one has caffeine, which is good because I, I like to have caffeine. I love caffeine. Um, anyway, this one is a Sideberry um, Bliss. And then I got the vegan tuna. I was very curious about this vegan tuna. It's sriracha flavored vegan tuna. <laughs> it's a soy product. I'm um, interested in trying it. I'm gonna try it in like a sushi roll. We'll see how this turns out. But I'm gonna make vegan sushi. Okay, and then we have these cheese wedges. I'm curious about trying these. They're plant-based cheese was wedges. You have white cheddar flavor. There's another one of those cheese wedges somewhere in here. And then here is gochujang chicken wings, but they're not meat. It's uh, vegan chicken wings. And then some dates and then I got two of these veggie bouillons because I, I'm nearly almost out of veggie bouillon. Okay, I got this for my boyfriend. Big bag of smoked almonds. These are so good. But I can't really chew almonds anymore because my teeth 
I need more teeth to chew. Um, well, where's the other one of those cheeses? I thought I got two of these cheeses. Maybe I just got one. Oh, well. So, got two limes. And I'm going to take all this stuff that needs to be refrigerated, put every, all the groceries away in the kitchen, and I will be back to have our mukbang. So for the mukbang tonight, which I'll have in a little while, um, I'm going to use, I'm going to have this drink, the day trip, hemp infused drink, um, kimchi, sushi, and the honeycomb for dessert. I'm so curious about this honeycomb. It's probably going to be extremely sweet. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.